Hey guys, this is Mr. Willis. I just wanted to give you another example of how to create glitch art by turning a JPEG into a text file and then back to a JPEG. Now this example that I'm going to give you will work, hopefully, for both a Mac and a PC computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my image and I'm going to create a duplicate of it. So make duplicate. Now I have a copy just in case something goes horribly wrong. So next thing I'm going to do is click on the alias of my original image and open it up. Now this is that Abraham Lincoln image that I've been using for the last couple examples. Next thing I'm going to do is click on the alias again and we need to convert this JPEG, this photograph, into a text file. So I'm going to click on the naming convention and I'm going to delete the file extension. So go from JPEG to TXT. It's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to do that. Yes, I do. Now I'm going to open up the text file. Now what this is, is all the information in the code that creates that digital image. So Let's scroll down past this header into the meat and potatoes of what makes this image this image. And the first thing we can do is we can highlight and we can start deleting code. Now you don't have to necessarily save it, but you can just click on the image and it should transition it in real time. So I can delete more. over here. All right, we can also delete small amounts. We can copy things. I can move around and I can find another place and copy that again or paste it again. That completely changes it. And I can go through delete. Now, as you do this, it's going to compound the way the image is structured and what you're changing to it. You can also click in the middle of the text and then type something like, I miss school. It moves it a little bit. You can also go down to the guts and try adding different things. So if you hit return and then add a semicolon, semicolon, semicolon. See what that does. Changes it a little. What happens if I take this part of code, cut it, and then place it in this space? Moves it. So as you go through an experiment and play around, you'll start to notice patterns of when you do one thing, something happens, and you can recreate that. Don't like that, you can undo it. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna go up here, and paste. All right, so I'm happy with the way that this turned out. But my original image is still a text file. So what I'm going to do is close that. I'm going to close this. Now it's still a text. If I open it, we just see the code. That's OK. Go back and rename it. Just like we did in the beginning, Delete TXT and type JPG. Create that photograph. Yes, I would like to use JPG. And then there's my image. All right, so let me know if you guys have any questions. Have fun with this assignment. Do some experimentation. See what happens. And have a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys next week.